This is the Business Report, brought to you with the compliments of CIBC First Caribbean. Local insurance company ICBL is parting ways with some of its employees through voluntary separation packages. It's part of an overall restructuring exercise. The news comes just two months after the company announced the resignation of former managing director and the chief executive officer Ingrid Inns. Ryan Broom has more. Commenting on the voluntary separation packages, the current acting chief executive officer Goldburn Allen says it's all a part of the company's efforts to streamline its operations and improve overall efficiency. He has described the package as an enhanced one and that management sought to ensure that employees were treated fairly and appropriately recognized and compensated for the service they provided to the company. He explains that over the last few years, ICBL has invested heavily in various systems and technologies, all of which are critical to ensuring that the company remains ahead of the competition. The acting CEO adds that this investment has led to the automation of several processes which are key to the provision of faster, more efficient service to customers. There was no indication, however, exactly how many employees would be involved in the process. Ryan Broom for the Business Report. Thanks, Ryan. The Barbados Agricultural Development and Marketing Corporation, BADMC, has been seeing significant growth of its Carmita's range of products, named after the late Carmita Fraser. That's according to Sean Tudor, Chief Executive Officer of the corporation. We, we would have certainly sold more than $2 million um, dollars in Carmita's products in the last um, calendar year. It's definitely up there. Very sorry, I don't have that exact figure, but it's in the millions. Um, it's increased a lot because we bought three quarter million dollars in meat from the farmers. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought a hundred thousand pounds of um, cassava and sweet potato, and you just multiply back up, and you will see um, how how that we we are selling. Mm -hmm. um, the the brand is spreading. There's a clear demand. Mr. Tudor adds that Carmitas continues to be a premium brand for the BADMC, showcasing both nutritious and innovative products. Now we are in, we are mostly the supermarkets. We're in the Massey stores, we're in the Carlton and Air One, mm -hmm. uh, we're in the Jordan supermarkets. We're in Poplar, Chanel's, Cherish, and it Bridge, super, and even many of the high street supermarkets. There are products in there. The full range of products are there, and um, there is huge demand for the. For the sorbet, the cassava, the cassava colada um, sorbet, that is that is a favorite. Um, endless, um, it, it is available in the soft serve version, um, which we we partner with someone to do that, and we just couldn't get enough to sell during Agrofest. So there was just a constant stream of people coming there to get the the, the cassava sorbet and the sweet potato um, sorbet as well. I bought most of those at AgriFest. Well, time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, JMMB Group Limited 7.50% was the volume leader with 766,738 units, followed by Cable & Wireless Jamaica Limited and Jamaica Money Market Brokers Limited 7.50%. In Trinidad, Trinidad Cement Limited was the volume leader with 101,000 shares valued at $421,170, followed by Agostini's Limited and Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited. And in Barbados, Bico Limited was the volume leader, trading 13,499 shares at $2.20 each, followed by Sagicor Financial Corporation Limited and Banks Holdings Limited. <laughs> 